Hello everyone, MCon here with another episode of our Dragon Age Origins DLC, playing through the Witch Hunt story campaign. The last of our Shall DLC. Uh, we are currently in the Tower of Magi, in case that was unclear, searching for uh, the library, Look which books. looks like we found it. I've never seen so many. Uh, we're working with Ariane here because she is also searching for Morgan as we are after Morgan left following the Battle of Denerim. Is that a purebred Mabari? I wish I had one. They should allow pets in the tower. Don't you remember the Dragonling disaster? There's bits of Ivan still <laughs> burnt onto the ceiling on the third floor. I'm talking about common pets. Dogs, cats, rats, Anders owls, had a cat? that sort of thing. Owls? What sort of mage has an owl as a pet? <laughs> Poke at Harry Potter there, I see. Alright, so yeah, Ariana, Ariana, Ariane, Ariane, something like that. She's got a good reason to be looking for Morgan as well, because Morgan apparently stole a book from her Dalish clan. Psst, you, Hound, you think you could sneak up on the mage over there? <laughs> How high do you think he'd throw those things if he turned around and saw you looming over him? <laughs> oh, lighten up. This place is like a tomb. A few surprises would be good for them. I don't think Sparky Warden, agrees. Your dog is lecturing me again. <laughs> There's something wrong if you're able to be lectured by him. Oh, okay. Index A to F. This is an index of books sorted alphabetically from A to F. All about weeds, balms for protection and enchantment, a catalog of elven relics, Franny's poultice recipes. Ooh, let's check out Franny's stuff. A book is in the potent medicine section. Okay, how about a catalog of elven relics? That's probably what we want. Mysterious artifacts section. Okay. Take a look around. Ooh, T to Z. Okay. Waking Nightmares and True Torment, Under the Bridge, Virulent Walking Bomb, the New Edition, Translating Elven Languages. That might be useful in the History section. Okay. So we the Forbidden section, History section. Uh, raising Nugs, no. Decor Restorative Draughts. That wouldn't be too bad in the Expert Herbalism section. Seeing Beyond Sight, and Sword and the Staff. Okay. About this one. G to L. Guarding your mind. How to prevent possession. Geographical oddities. Kindling the flame. Lurking horrors of the deep. This might be useful. Geography section. Gotcha. Okay. Dangerous beast section. Geography section. Oh. Cool. Now, I want to look all... Before I was able to get back behind those bookshelves... But that was when the tower was in disarray, I suppose, so... Okay, let's see. Here is geography section. Oh, ooh, secrets from the Frostbacks. Devoured from beneath Circle Tower of Kirkwall. Oh, Circle Tower of Kirkwall. This book describes the Circle Tower of Kirkwall. Housed in a former Tevinter slaver fortress, its halls are a foreboding place even centuries after the city's liberation. Kirkwall, for those who don't know, is the location of Dragon Age 2. Okay, cool. Geography. How about ge geographical oddities of Ferelden? Study of the stranger landscapes of Ferelden and their causes. Uh, Secrets of the Frostbacks? Ooh, paintings. How about Devoured from Beneath? Fatalistic viewpoint. This book theorizes that the crumbling deep roads below Ferelden will eventually cause the land to fall apart. Interesting theory. Okay, nothing in the geog geographical section. You, you know, mysterious artifacts. Here we go. Talismans of ancient Tevinter. Details the construction and usage of folk talismans from ancient Tevinter. Okay, chastened charms. Mainly a dry treatise. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Scale and bone crafting the high dragon. Oh. Contains complex recipes for crafting items from parts of a dragon's carcass. Huh. A catalog of elven relics might be what we're searching for, however. Written in an ancient dialect we cannot read. Uh -huh. I recognize the character on this page. I think it makes up part of the word Illuvian. 
That's hardly helpful. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. This is a library, isn't it? Perhaps another book could help us translate this. Why, yes it could. And we learned just where to find said book. Okay. That's a data shelf. Don't gawk. I hear they cut out your eyes for staring at the tattoos. <laughs> they do not. They do? I read it somewhere. Uh -huh. You believe everything you read, do you? Better safe than sorry, I say. I don't see the mage train. Oh, here we go. Mage training section. Interesting. Kindling the flame, autonomous prodigy. Strained wrists and stiff necks. Lightning storms in your ooh. Lightning storms in your room. The subtitle reads: A fun activity book for young apprentices. Oh, that's it. Oh, fine. Okay, what section is this? The Fade. Ooh, that sounds neat. Okay, Faith, Justice, and the Spiritual Way. The Black City. Ooh, the Black City. This book is a collection of essays written on the Black City. Okay. Martha's Adventures in the Fade. Seems to be a book for young mage children. It contains colorful pictures depicting demons as cute, smiling monsters. That doesn't seem very accurate. I mean, I've, I've fought demons before. They're not the cute, smiling the monsters. Went after those apostates near Hyam. Micah, it's terrible what they did to him. Okay, here we go. Dangerous beasts. Uh, ooh, the dragons of Navarra. A book detailing the different groups of dragons once found in Navarra. Okay, interesting. Uh. There's got to be another section of the library. I know I looked up that Elven language book. Let's see. No, no. Not geography, not mage training, not mysterious artifacts. Let's go back to the index. I must have missed one. Okay, A to F. Um, no, no, no. We got the Elven relics. Okay, T to Z. Translating Elven Languages in the History section. Almost certain that... Oh. Mythical Creatures. I must have missed these sections. And... School of Entropy. Oh. As you say. Interesting. Creation versus Entropy. Walking Nightmares and True Torment. Understanding Entropy. Oh. Guide to the School of Entropy for Apprentice Mages. Okay. Let's go ahead and leave... So it's not going to be in either of you. So where's the history section? Mysterious artifacts. History, okay. Oh, maybe it only shows indexes for the last couple of things. Oh, it must be on the other side. Last couple of things that you read. That would, uh, that would make sense. Uh, history, here we go. Uh, Forticum Kadav, Kolsum, Philosopher of Time, translating the Elven languages. Ooh, of hammers and witches. This ancient Orlesian text dates from the Chantry's early days. Time and dust has weathered most of the ink, but from what you can make out, it covers a war on the heretics of the old Imperium. Faded descriptions of men in robes tremble before figures bearing an ominous symbol of a black eye in a sunburst. Interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. How about translating Elven languages? This should help you translate the Elven text. Ooh, I leveled up! Yay! Alright, so that means... We need the mysterious the artifacts. And that says... Catalog of Elven Relics. Using the translation book, we locate a chapter on Eluvian. Whoa, who let a dog in here? And what are you doing? Be careful! I don't like him already. You're in my light. You look uh, like you could probably squash me like a gnat, <laughs> but I can't sit by while you mishandle innocent tomes. You're bending the book too much. It'll, it'll crack the spine and cause the pages to oh, fall you're out. You're going to become a party member, aren't you? Just thinking about it is making me dizzy. Are you familiar with this book? I've used it, but I don't know it by heart. Hmm. Browsing the chapter on the Olivians. 
No one's actually found one, you know. You know what Illuvian is? It's old Elvish for seeing glass. Mira. Really? What else do you know about this? Illuvian isn't just any mirror. It's a special kind. When the Imperium sacked Arlathan, they took these mirrors and tried to unlock their power. But all they could use them for was communication over long distances. Why would Morgan be interested in that? Ah, you have a friend with a special interest. Maybe she needs to talk to someone. <laughs> My people crossed paths with another Dalish clan not too long ago. Two of their young hunters encountered a strange mirror in some ruins. One disappeared, the other became deathly ill. They never found the one, and the other died. They left Ferelden and traveled north to forget their sorrows. What about the mirror? Shattered. Destroyed. <gasps> Why? It was corrupted by the Darkspawn, beyond hope of recovery. They did it to protect others. Even broken, it could be used to find the others. No, don't get ahead of yourself, Finn. You have to be sure. What? What do you know? This is so exciting. <laughs> we have to get to the repository. <laughs> Hadley has the key. Come on. Yep, he joined the party, all right. Oh, look, you're a spirit healer. Well, I didn't much like the keeper stuff. So let's give you blood mage and... I don't know. Shapeshifter. Wow, 75 willpower. You went all out, man. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, put blood magic in. For as long as this mode is active, the blood mage sacrifices health to power spells instead of expending mana. But effects that heal the blood mage are much less effective than normal. The blood mage sucks the life force from an ally, healing the caster but potentially killing the ally. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> blood wound. The blood of all hostile targets in the area boils within their veins, inflicting severe damage. Targets stand twitching, unable to move unless they pass a physical resistance check. Creatures without blood are immune. And blood control. Ooh, I forcibly control the target's blood making the target an ally of the caster unless it passes a mental resistance check. If it resists and instead takes great damage from the manipulation of its blood, creatures without blood are immune. Cool. You could use those robes that power up blood magic then. Because you're just wearing Finn's immaculately clean robe. Ha 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 Not for long. Alright, our first blood mage. Blood promise. Proves blood magic. Very nice. Alright. And it gives you a decent amount of armor, so that's nice. Robes the architect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how are your rings? Magic and ex increases experience from Codex. Willpower. Extra magic. Okay. Mana regeneration in combat. This gives you more magic and improves blood magic yet again. So we'll do that. And then. Oh, what's this cleansing aura? Okay, a lot of resistances. Extra magic, which is useful. Ooh, ooh. We can give you Flemeth's Broomstick. Extra spell power. Extra nature damage. I like it. I like it a lot. And no, no hood for you. Uh, Fade Walker is willpower and defense. Could definitely use defense. Fire Stomper's dexterity? No. Okay. Yeah, let's give you the Fade Walker here. There we go. Got a good number of mana. Oh, oh, hey, we leveled up. And I've got a fourth specialization? That's different. Um, let's also add Assassin. Why not? That uh, Assassin's Mark, that Mark of Death or whatever, is really cool. Really useful. Um, dexterity's plenty high. Let's give more cunning and constitution. Uh, expert vitality. And mark of death, right? Yep, I don't need anything else. Got bard, full ranger, and legionnaire scout. So mark of death. All damage, all attack against him, deal additional damage. So that's cool. 
Alright, then we'll knock you back a little bit. Okay, so we need to help, uh, we need to go talk to, uh, not that way. What's his face? The may the uh, Templar that greeted us at the Look, door. Look, Finn, he fetched me a flower. <coughs> it's very pretty. Slobbery, but pretty. <laughs> you should just tell him to fetch a morrigan. It would save us a lot of trouble. There we go. All right, Hadley. Hadley! Just the man I was looking for. Not looking very hard, were you? I'm always here. <laughs> Good one. So I, um, I need to go into the repository. No. No? Why not? I'm not some drooling apprentice. It's because of me, isn't it? No. The Sentinels have been behaving erratically, so the repository is locked for everyone's safety. Oh, how handy. Well then, uh, sorry for bothering you. What happened to them? Unfortunately, we are still not sure yet. The repository isn't crucial to the daily functioning of the Circle, so we've left it until we can spare more men. Well, always something to be killed, and I'm the one to do it. Oh, very well. It's your next. But before you go, what's so important down there? The statue. It knows things about Tavinta, and I need to speak to it. All right. A speaking Be statue. And keep the mess to a minimum. Well, that's different. You know that talking to inanimate objects is a sign of insanity. <laughs> Not when it talks back. You think the statue talks to you? It's complicated. It wasn't always a statue. You'll see. Uh huh. I better see. All right, into the repository. This is an area that you can get into during the uh, Mage Origin story, I know. I know because I went through it twice, I just don't remember much about it. Which is likely evidenced by the fact that I don't remember this talking statue. Which is generally something you'd, uh, you'd think you'd remember. As you say. Alright. Hello. Corrupted Sentinel. That wasn't too hard. How about you? Good, good. Yeah, we got nothing to worry about here. Oh, a veil tear. Interesting. Oh, hello. Missed that. Something did it. And these sentinels are going back to normal. We need to deal with the rest of the rips in the veil if we can. Okay. We need oh six tears in the veil. Okay. Well, no time like the present. Hmm. It has begun. The prison is breached. I see the encroaching darkness. Wow. It does talk. <laughs> uh, hello? The, the shadow will consume all. What are you talking about? A hunger, a cage, a yawning void. Help me. Something is causing it distress. The tear's in the veil, most likely. The statue's useless until we mend the veil. Yeah, very well. We'll take care of those veil tears, then. Which way? Point me in the right direction. Hello. We'll just stun you. See, that wasn't hard. Enough. Oh, interesting. I wonder if they reanimate if we don't get rid of this tear. Yeah, I bet they do. Hello, Sentinels. As you say. Alright. Just hit you up. Oh, that tear looks like it's back there. Oh, there we are. Alright. Care of that real quick for the critical shot. It's gone. Where'd it go? Where's the tear in the veil? Oh, I think it's over there now. Okay. 
I'll try to make something explode. Uh, why don't we attack the Veil Tear? Can we see it? Here we go. And a critical. That should take care of it. Gotcha. Why aren't you dead yet? There. It's like every time we hit it. There we go. And you. Whew, thank you. So that's, yep, halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Saving. Okay. How about down here? Aha. Oh, you are a mage. Rope center. Ow. Oh, really? Paralyzed me? Hit me while I'm down? That's just cheap. Ah, uh, come on. Another fireball. Alright, where's the veil tear? Where's the veil tear? Here we go. Arrow of slaying! Nice. Gotcha. Okay, anything special through here? Oh, I what do you do know? Acidic coating, blank vellum. That's a lot of blank vellum. And some extra cash. All right, well, this is a good place to end our episode then. I want to thank you guys all very much for once again coming along with me. And uh, hey, until next time, bye.